All right, holy shit, guys. So I made the last ranting video, and then I, I said something to myself. I said, what if my formula here is how you create the fourth column of Fibonacci is basically a part list or step-by-step -step construction method on how to fabricate this, okay? A free energy device, okay? You know, let's go down the rabbit hole, guys. All right, so it all starts at the beginning, okay? So in, again, in Fibonacci, okay, the first row is just self, n, n plus one, be just the numbers in order. This is a column of Fibonacci that we know, okay? Nothing special, guys. You guys can do this at home. Easy peasy, Japanesey. X, Y, Z, get your three dimensions that of our reality, and then our fourth dimension, okay? And remember that four makes five, because three makes four makes five, because we can't create shit with a four, because hex only completes when a five is created. So there's also numbers here. I haven't gone that far yet. Okay, so when I noticed the pattern of zero, one, five, I remembered Roman numerals of zero IV, okay? Thought that was interesting. So I said, okay, let's just put the five here. And let's make that n, okay? And then we know the top one's going to be a 0, so that's going to be n minus 5. And the one before it, because in, in the previous, our duality, we have a relationship between 0 and 1, so I figured, why not, why not just do n minus 1, and we came up with 4, okay? Now this is interesting. All right, so let's start at the beginning, because if you don't understand the beginning, you're not going to understand how you get further ahead. And humans have a tendency of really overcomplicating things instead of understanding the dots and lines first, okay? So what I've noticed in the relationship here, between 0 and 1, the duality of 0 and 1, in our three-dimensional experience, okay? That's a two relation, okay? And the next Roman numeral is 5, V. But in my column here, that's the only, like, when you get to 13, there's an X involved, so it's no longer a V. So I put that in its own row, okay? So that's a 2 and a 1. The next two numbers are 13 and 28, and those need X's, okay? So that, there's another 2. The next number is 50, which is a multiple of L, which is Roman numeral for 50. The next number is 9, 100 minus 9, I mean, so it's probably a CIX. Anyways, so there's a relationship between a 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3 pattern. You know, you gotta make the V. You gotta make the V, guys. Now, in the building blocks of the fourth dimension, we have zeros and ones to play with because we're in three-dimensional reality. So we're allowed to play with something with the zero. What's going to play with the zero? A four. Now what that means is that you're going to have a singularity and then you're going to put four other singularities around it, depicting a plus or an X. Okay, so what's going to happen now is that you're going to make a V, a five, okay, N. You know, there's lots of Vs here, guys. There's a V here, there's a V here, there's a V here, there's a V here, there's four fives. Think about it. One, two, three, four. Four fives is nine, which is balance, and four fives is twenty, which is the cross, <laughs> which is your your eight, which is your thirty-three. Anyway, we've discovered zero, four, and five because of this formula. Okay, n is equal to five, n minus five, because we know the top has to be zero, and then n minus the other dimension of 0 and 1, and 5 minus 1 would be 4. Okay, so those are building blocks of the fourth column of Fibonacci. Now let's move on to the more exciting stuff. So now we've discovered that n is equal to 5. Okay, so this depiction is now a new something. It is a 5, okay? Or it is a circled 4, I would assume, okay? So this dot now would then expand to contain the four other dots, because we didn't really create any lines here, okay? Maybe four dots is a depiction of four, four is a depiction of four zeroth dimensional singularities, or four could be a, a depiction of four one-dimensional lines. It doesn't matter, they both work. But when you create a five, these four dots or four lines, the circle is gonna become bigger to encircle your dots. So your four is now a five, okay? That's N. I, I'm trying, guys. We've discovered our new base unit. Okay, our new new base unit is going to be this. That's going to be a five now. Okay. So the next the next equation. So n plus one is equal to n plus two times n minus one, and n minus one is equal to four. I believe it means is that n plus one is equal to five plus two times four. So n is going to be equal to our five, which is our singularity right here. 
Now, two times four means that you're gonna have four what? Dots or lines? I think it's both. So you're gonna be given four dots and four lines. Four segments, okay? What does that create? That creates one plane of heaven. Oh yeah, and by the way, that equals 13. Now solving for n plus 2, which is equal to 28. There's going to be n plus 1, or 13, plus 3 times n, or 3 times 5. So here's the equation, okay? So in this depiction, okay, we have to take what we created before, which is a 13, which can be n plus 1, 13, which can be depiction, instead of writing this, I'm going to write a ring now. It's going to be a plane, like an xy plane, let's say. Okay? Now, in this depiction, you can obviously see that we'll just call the bottom one the xy plane. Okay? Now, what do you need? You need everything from before plus new stuff. The new stuff is three fives. Well, I see many depictions of three fives, guys. A five is a V, guys, in Roman numerals. Well, I see a, a V here. I see a V here. And I see a V here. I also three, see three fives, meaning one, two, three, four, five, which would create a new plane, like an XZ plane, let's say. Uh, how do you do this? Okay, and then I see a one, two, three, four, five, and a one, two, three, four, five. I just see three fives, guys, for the each of the planes: the x, y, the x, z, and the y, z, to create something I can't really draw, but have it very well depicted right here. I'm freaking out a little because I think free energy is meant to be made this big. Okay, my scale is a 1 is equal to 60 millimeters. This is a 480 millimeter cube, okay? It's a 2 by 2 by 2 inside a 6 by 6 by 6 inside an 8 by 8 by 8. You do the math, guys. But look, I always said that inside of heaven, okay, there are 12 one-dimensional lines. On each one-dimensional line, which will be curved, obviously, there are going to be 8 magnets, okay? Totaling 12 times 8, uh, yeah, 12 times 8 is 96. Which is 69, the middle of this, red backwards, 96 magnets, okay? Now, I just blew my mind, guys. So, remember I said, okay, to create heaven, you need 6 dots and 12 lines, totaling 18. Now look, 13 plus 5 is 18, okay? Look at this, 13 plus 5 plus the X is 28. Interesting, no? Oh, it gets better, guys. Remember I said that you have to have 42 magnets? on the inside of the big wheel and eight magnets on the in outside of this wheel, totaling 50 magnets, guys, okay? Remember I said that they're supposed to be 22 millimeters each? Well, what's 13 plus five plus four? 22, guys, 22 mil. I've, I've done it. I, I, I'm positive that these are instructions on how to create a free energy device. I'm positive. So heaven, or n plus 2, is equal to 28, is equal to the x, y, and z planes of the central celestial sphere, which I call heaven in this model, okay? That's 28. It creates the plane to construct the rest of the box.